Hello everyone and welcome. It's Lisa from Energy Gal Holistic Wellness. This is a place where we talk all about integrating body, soul, spirit. We talk about releasing trauma from the body. We talk about coming back into relationship with ourselves, with each other, and with the godness. So Question, has this ever happened to you? You have a great idea. You are all jazzed. You've got it down on paper even, even and you're just moving forward. And this is going to happen. And then it doesn't. And you get frustrated. Like, I've got this idea. I want it to come to fruition. But I can't get it to manifest. That's what we're talking about today. And the solution might be a whole lot easier than you think. So today on the show, I want to talk about something as simple as water, drinking water. Now, usually I start with the esoteric, we, we pull it down into the practical. Today, we're actually going to start with the practical. So let's talk a little bit about water. We are 60% water. Our body is at least 60% water, okay? As, as an overall, water helps to manage our body temperature carries nutrients and oxygen to our cells, and is a joint lubricator. Almost all of our body's major systems depend on water to function properly. So let's talk seven specific things that drinking water will do for our bodies. Number one, maximize physical performance. Number two, significantly affect energy levels and brain functions. Number three, it may help prevent and treat headaches. Four, may relieve constipation. Number five, drinking water, adequate amount of water may treat kidney stones. Six, prevent hangovers. And seven, drinking enough water can aid in weight loss. So those are very practical reasons for drinking water. As far as how much water to drink, you know, it can be a challenge when we are not all the way integrated into our bodies. When we are looking for the answer out there, tell me how much to drink, rather than asking our body if it's thirsty. And I understand that. I remember when I was just on my journey and just coming through to an a, a, a a trek of the, um, a leg of the trek of my journey when it came to disordered eating, that I had to start asking my body not only if it was hungry, but what it was hungry for. And because I was not real integrated with my body, I, I, I didn't trust my body's wisdom. It wasn't a muscle that I had trained very well. I was always asking what diet or going to a dietitian or following. I think my fitness pal for the number of macros. I didn't check in with myself to say, body, are you hungry? And if so, what are you hungry for? So it took some practice. Well, the same thing with water. For me to tell you how much water to drink, is it's really not helpful to you. What I would do is direct you to asking your body if it's thirsty. So let's talk about some of the symptoms of thirst. Do you have a headache? Do you feel a little bit misty headed or foggy headed? Are you having a difficult time focusing and concentrating? Have you exercised quite a bit? You're gonna need some water. Let me see. Um, are you having a difficult time moving your bowels? Are you pooping? Let's talk about it, are you pooping? Drinking water helps move those bowels. Of course, what you're eating is also going to matter too, but that's for another video. And if you have weight to lose, if it feels like you've got extra weight on your body that you'd like to see move, make sure you're drinking water. I like to drink water throughout the day. Sometimes I drink it cold, sometimes warm. Again, I'm checking in with my body. As far as if you're asking me how much I drink, I probably drink, and I don't know what size this is, but whatever size this is, I probably drink three of these a day. If I drink two, so be it. If I've been having an extra thirsty day and I drink four, so be it. 
I also eat a lot of vegetables, not too much on the fruit though, because I don't really like fruit. I said it. I don't really like fruit. I like apples and I like grapefruits, strawberries maybe, but I don't really like fruit. But give me any kind of vegetable you've got and I inhale. And those are all very high in water content. All that to say, experiment. Pour yourself some water, get up in the morning, and the first thing you should consume is some water. How much? I, I don't know. Take some and, and get used to hydrating your body. Get used to what it feels like to be hydrated. Do this as, as a... Um, as an adventure, as an experiment. Like, hmm, I'm gonna drink this much water, I wonder how I'm gonna feel when I do this. Um, as far as you should be peeing at least half a dozen, 10, 12 times a day. You should be needing to void at least half a dozen times a day. So if you're like, wow, I pee once when I get up and I don't need to pee again until dinner time," you might wanna throw some water in, okay? Now, if you're asking, well, does tea count? Anything with caffeine does not count. So your sodas, your diet sodas, your caffeine-free sodas, your coffees, none of that counts. What would count is this water, toss in a couple pieces of grapefruit or lemon or orange, the actual fruit, strawberries, some mint leaves, that will count as your water. But the, uh, the double latte from uh, Starbucks does not count as liquid. That's a treat. That is a dessert. This is water. Okay, I have harped enough on that. I'd like to get to the esoteric. I'd like to get back to why you may not be manifesting the, the dreams that you have specific to um, water, specific to how water can help that. When you are dreaming, there's all this energy up here. There's grabbing all these ideas from the ethers. There's getting downloads. It's like, ah, oh, this is awesome, okay? They come down and they get all mixed up into your heart and maybe down into your solar plexus and you're like, this is awesome. I can see it happening and we're going to do this and that and I've got my vision board and the whole thing. But it's still not manifesting. Here's what I would say to you. I'm wondering if you need to be grounded. If you need to be grounding your body and grounding those dreams, those hopes, those visions down into your physical form, this integration of body, soul, spirit. And the way that we can do that, one of the ways we can ground is through drinking water. Now there was a study done, there's a lot of controversy about it. So I'm not gonna say that it is scientifically proven, I'm not gonna say that. But what I'm gonna say is, wouldn't it be cool if, wouldn't it be cool if the words that you speak hold an energetic vibration that actually change the crystalline structure of this water to a higher vibration. And then you consume it and it changes your own physical form. It comes in and it raises the vibration, the frequency changes the frequency of your physical form. Wouldn't that be cool? So if that's the case, and we don't know, but if that's the case that you can speak kindness, gentleness, courage, faithfulness into this water and then consume this water and we are 60% water and we can speak that into ourselves, well, why not? Why not give it a try? What if it worked? If it worked, you're manifesting the life of your dreams. If it doesn't, well, according to the research I've done, 
you might be able to poop and not have kidney stones. Win, win, win. Okay, so let's get practical on this. I want you to bring to mind, grab your water, put your hands around it, hold it to your heart, and I want you to bring to mind a memory. Feet on the floor. A memory that just makes you smile. You think of it and you think, oh, oh! Like your body reacts to this memory with a smile. Maybe your heart, you can actually feel it expand. Or maybe it skips a beat. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe your cheeks get flushed. It's a memory that you're like, oh, God, yeah. That, that one's hard to keep to myself. Oh, yeah. It just, it, I can't just keep it in my brain. I actually, my body is reacting. Think about that, okay? <sighs> Take a couple of breaths. Breathing also helps ground us. <sighs> oh, I'm thinking about a memory. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. And then you drink. I had a client one time who I told about this. It was our very first or second session. She was so ready to try anything, even if she was like, I don't quite get it, but what have I got to lose? And she wrote the word compassion on a piece of paper. And then she intended, she was like, oh, I want this to come true. And she thought of compassion and, and just really pondered it and meditated about compassion. She stuck that piece of paper underneath her water and then um, put it in the fridge because she wanted to drink the water cold. And the next morning when she got up, she drank that water throughout the day that she believed was directly sitting on compassion with the intention that she had, that she felt that her intention was now imbued into this water and she was consuming this intention of compassion. And let me tell you, in the last year, year and a half that I've known this particular soul, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody fly through from being a caterpillar into the cocoon and now being ventured out of the cocoon and thinking about, mm, I'm gonna flap my wings here. I'm just wondering which direction I'm gonna go first, ever, a year and three months. She's amazing. So maybe it works. Maybe it's part of a, a good holistic wellness program, you know? So that's my gift to you. As a reminder, we are growing a tribe of like-minded souls here and it is my passion i offer this to you for free every day through the year three uh through the year 2000 3000 <laughs> i'm still here through, through the year 2023 as we are on our journey together would you do me a good one and would you subscribe hit the notifications bell so that then you're notified when our videos come up and would you also comment underneath I'm incredibly curious about what you think about this. Would you then also like and share this video with someone who you may think would benefit? All right, guys, I appreciate you so much. I'm excited for our venture together. Here's to us. See you tomorrow.